Merci. Monsieur Batten, pour deux minutes au nom du groupe EFTD. Thank you, Madam President. Now, this is the first reading of legislation that seeks to update and enhance the powers of Eurojust. Eurojust has a presence in every member state with an unprecedented concentration of judicial and police powers and with no separation of powers between judges, prosecutors and police. It has enormous power and enormous potential for the abuse of power. Eurojust is just one element of the EU's own evolving system of criminal law, which is superseding the legal systems of member states. This legislation will enhance its powers to incorporate cooperation with the European Public Prosecutor's Office. It will permit Eurojust to exercise its powers not only at the request of the so-called competent authorities, but on its own initiative and at the request of the Prosecutor's Office. This legislation is a step on the way to absorbing Eurojust into the European Public Prosecutor's Office. The UK is a participant in Eurojust, but has supposedly opted out of the jurisdiction of the Prosecutor's Office. However, this opt-out is illusory. The European Public Prosecutor can easily circumvent that opt-out in the UK by using the other legal institutions and instruments to achieve its objectives. The evolving EU system of criminal law may not be alien to some member states, but it is completely alien to the English legal system. Our freedoms and liberties are under our constitution, the common law and statute law have evolved over centuries. They are being swept away by measures such as these. It has not been possible to ascertain Her Majesty's Government's position on this legislation, but UKIP has proposed a rejection amendment and we urge every UK MEP to vote for it if they have any desire to protect the freedoms and liberties of British citizens.